Tim Burchett joins us now. We appreciate you being here. Um, all right, so now you've heard McCarthy saying his version of what happened on the call. As you hear that, would that have changed your vote, sir? Probably not. I, you know, I, heck, I've got a recording of what was said. It was. Oh, you, it, rec it, you recorded it, it? It was just, but it was between us. And, um, you know, and, and, but the conversation went on. In a, in a belittling tone. It was um, everything I, I suggested. I said, well, we, you know, you told us you were going to bring term limits up. And he said, well, that went in committee. And then he, I said, we were out six weeks. We were out, you know, September 30th comes around every time. This, it were basically, you know, I'm, I'm paraphrasing everything. And it was always, well, that was, that was, uh, you know, Scalise or that was somebody else or whatever. And, I, you know, we need leadership. I don't need excuses. We're, we're $33 trillion in debt. We take in $5 trillion. We spend $7 trillion. We continue with these continued resolutions. And every, every, and then we pass one for 30 days. And then they told me the last time, they said, well, let's pass this 30 day one so we won't pass another one. And I said, you know, that's like telling a heroin addict, I'm going to give you heroin to get you off of heroin. It doesn't work that way. We are spending our great grandchildren's money. We're $33 trillion in debt. And these excuses just, you know, I, I just, we need a strong leader, and, and I felt like we weren't getting that. And that was just the, I guess, that, that just pushed me over the edge, uh, the, what I felt like was, was condescending uh, of what I was saying. I, I pray about it. I do. I, I pray about everything because God, God's done me pretty, he's been pretty good to me. He's given me a wonderful, wonderful wife and a daughter, and, and, um, and I'm, I'm incredibly blessed. There's not a lot of Tim Burchett's in Congress. Um, I don't come from money. Um, I'm not a sports star. I'm not a Navy SEAL. I'm not, you know, I'm just a, a guy that just got lucky, I guess, in life. But I, but I do pray about things. And so, um, you know, I, I didn't take that decision lightly. I, I, I prayed about it uh, uh, since it started coming up. And I just asked God to show me what to do. And I really had two decisions to make. I had to go, am I going to go with my friend Kevin McCarthy, who I felt like hasn't followed through with a lot of things that he said he was going to do, or am I going to trust my conscience? And ultimately, my conscience won out, and that's how I voted. In terms of the path forward, I want to get to that in a second, but just do you always record phone calls with the Speaker of the House? No, no, I don't. It was just Why one did of you those, choose this one? It was just one of those random things, because I was in the middle of a meeting with other people, and um, and I just said, let's record it. And so I've got it just just in case I needed it. And because a lot of times when you're talking to somebody, you, you have trouble remembering exactly what you said, especially in the, in the, when you're in a lot of pressure and um, and it's legal. And so it was just one of those things I did. And and uh, I, and I'm glad I did. I'm not going to do anything with it. That's what I was going to ask. Do you plan on sharing it? No, 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 I wasn't doing that. It was for my personal benefit so I could go back and listen. If I made a commitment or if I said something out of line, I want to know. Um, in terms of the path forward, you know, you were talking about the, kind of the, the two options that you were praying over trying to figure out which way to go. The option you chose doesn't have an end game or an outcome explicitly right now. Well, it, what I, should that be? Who yeah, should that be? I think we're going to we're going to see that. But the good thing about it is we have a very deep bench. You know, we've got Roger Williams out of Texas, um, Jody Arrington out of Texas, uh, Elise Stefanik, Tom Emmert, my buddy Steve Scalise, who I know is calling around folks who I've talked to, um, Mark Green out of Tennessee. There, our bench is so deep, and I feel like we've got a lot of leaders that, that are willing to step up, and now they are. And, and, and honestly, since we made that vote, and I know folks are getting on the news and railing on me and all these other folks, but you know, I just left the gym, and I, I've, I've talked to several people this morning alone who did not vote with us, but have conceded that they probably should have and are glad that they did. They're glad that what we did because they, they think we need to make a change. I want to give you a chance to respond. We just had Republican Congressman, your colleague, uh, Mike Lawler on New York. Here's New what York. he said about the eight who voted to oust McCarthy. So that would include you. Here he was. They need to lose their committee assignments uh, and there needs to be consideration as to whether or not they're even part of the conference. You had a handful of people for petty personal reasons who decided that their uh, interests mattered more than the country. And I think it's disgusting. Uh, and I think uh, the rules need to be uh, relooked at. He also said that you guys need to be held accountable. Sure. What do you well, say? I represent my district, and I'm voting the way my district would like me to do. You're um, also part of the body. I'm also part of the body, but 
when it's all over with. Lyndon Johnson said, if you want a friend in Washington, get a dog. I have three of them. They're all at home, Charlie, Buzz, and Roscoe, but they're not up here. Um, and Mike, is, he's, from, he's from New York, and he has a different set of values than I do. He's my friend, and he has his right to his opinion. But th the truth is, is you know, they, they did the same thing to um, Marjorie Taylor Greene. It sure didn't hurt her much. And I just, that, that's, um, that's, there's a lot of angry people, but I, I would submit to you, when we get this, when we get a um, new leadership in, we're going to be just fine. When's uh, it? Go ahead. No, no, I was, I was just getting... Interested in when to, that's going to be, yeah, sir. Tuesday. Tuesday we'll have um, orientation, not orientation, they're going to have the, uh, the speeches. It's kind of like student council, you know, going to give their speeches. And yeah. then, um, but it's sort of like on the floor. By the time something gets to the floor, you know it's already decided. Well, that's what I was going to ask. You said you'd spoken to Steve Scalise. Uh, yeah. Is he somebody you would prefer? What's his pitch I love Steve Scalise. Um, he's a great leader. He's a proven leader. And uh, I believe folks would rally around him. And, uh, but as I told him at this time, I, I, I'm not going to commit to you. I want to hear what other people have to say. I, you know, it's, it's just there might be some dark horse that gets in it that, 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 that shows that we... Maybe that's that's the direction we need to know. But Steve would be an excellent choice, and that's the good thing about it. We have no shortage. But and a lot of these folks, you know, they 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 weren't they couldn't act because of their their positions, and now they are. And I think it's gonna it's gonna prove good for the good. It's gonna be great for the country actually, because um, as my friend, you know, he said that uh, he got on to me. But we're thirty three trillion dollars in debt. We take in five trillion dollars every year, and we spend seven trillion, and that's conservative estimates. To me, that's not leadership. We've got to make some just tough decisions. And when my friend AOC, and she is my friend, when she says we got a, we got a fiscal issue, I think that's time we could all get together and work on something. And I'm all for that. And you know, and and the 15 or so of us that were opposed to all this in the beginning, I asked for membership to leadership to meet with us. Nothing happened. Uh, yeah, this is the way Washington works. They cram something down your throat. They cram these continued resolutions because they, they've greased their special interest and the lobbyist, and that's why nothing happened. Nothing changes, and we get further and further in debt. I'm just calling it out. Tim Burchett, we appreciate your time. Thanks Busy time at me. that. Thank you very much.